Hi, I'm Millie Davenport, a horticulture extension agent with the Clemson University Home and Garden Information Center. Today we're going to talk about the Coosa dogwood, Cornus Coosa. More than likely, you're familiar with the native flowering dogwood in the southeast. Today we're going to look at a distant relative of that, and this is the Coosa dogwood. Now the Kusa dogwood is not native to North America. It actually is from Japan, Korea, and China. One thing about it is it does um, put out its foliage before the flowers. So that's a little different than our native flowering dogwood. It is deciduous um, and the bracts actually come out after that. The flowering of these uh, usually occurs about two to three weeks later than our native flowering dogwood. The bracts themselves with the flowers and the show that you get are about four inches wide. Now the interesting thing about this is that you're going to get flowers that have a tapered tip kind of point to it, a lot different than our native flowering dogwood. Now again, like the native flowering dogwood, these are just modified leaves, they're bracts. And with that, these are just showy, they're not the actual flower. The actual flowers are here in the center of those bracts. Um, these flowers are going to be the ones that actually develop into a really cool looking berry um, that will come out later in the season. Now with the Coosa dogwood, you have different seasons of interest with it that we're going to talk about. First, we've talked about the beautiful flowers that you get in late spring. Um, in late summer, you're going to get the berries that form from these flowers. Now after the fruit comes on and goes away, you'll actually get into a beautiful show for fall of the foliage. The foliage will turn into kind of a reddish purple color, scarlet look, and that'll give you a really nice show um, for the fall. Now after the leaves have fallen, you'll have this beautiful interest of the bark. The bark of the Kusa has a really nice exfoliating bark and it will also give kind of a mottled dark brown and gray kind of look as you can see here um, on the trunk. So that is something you can enjoy in the winter months after the leaves have fallen. Now considering a Kusa dogwood for your landscape, you want to make sure you have the right conditions for it. You need a full sun location to part shade, it will do okay there. Um, it needs acidic soil, moist but well drained. And uh, one thing about it that's kind of cool is it does tolerate full sun, which is unique for um, a dogwood. Your Kusa dogwood will reach about 15 to 20 feet tall and wide, so you definitely want to make sure you have enough room for it in the landscape. So if you have a sunny location in your landscape and you're considering a flowering dogwood for your landscape, instead you may want to consider the Kusa dogwood, which is actually more tolerant to a full sun location. For more information on gardening, landscaping, insect and disease problems on your plant, visit the Home and Garden Information Center website at www.clemson.edu slash hgic.